welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Britt. Man behind the camera is the beard. The beard. Oh, the beard are back. <laughs> That's funny. Duck Dynasty shirt, sure. yeah. But anyways, today's video we are making the beard's grandmother's version of Irish stew. Beef. We're using, I was getting there. Okay. We're using beef. It's not a traditional Irish stew because it's not made with lamb, but we're using beef. So, this is a collab with a bunch of wonderful people on YouTube. Amanda from the Bells came up with doing Soup Timber. So, every day in September, we are going to be posting different soup recipes for you guys. And then at the end, she is going to be picking a random day, 1 through 30, 31, right? 31 days in September? 30. Yeah, 31. 31. So, 1 through 31. Wait, no, 30. 30. 30. 30. Okay, sorry. I don't know. She's going to be picking a random winner. She's going to be picking a random day. And then she's going to be going through those comments. Just a random comment and picking a winner. So, if you guys want a chance to win an awesome prize from her, be sure to follow all of the soups throughout the month and make sure that you are commenting. And also, this is a good chance for people to grow their channels, for people to meet new people. I love collabs. I've done one before on my channel. I'm super grateful. You've done so, two, haven't you? Yeah, two. The same person. Oh. But I'm super grateful. So thank you for doing this. And let's get into the video. So actually over here we have our big pot, soup pot. And it's got some bacon grease heated up in it. And then we have um, celery, onions, and carrots. I went ahead and cut them up on, off camera because I didn't figure you guys wanted to really watch that. But it's two medium onions, um, three-fourths of a bag of carrots, just the do um, the carrots from Kroger, the baby carrots, and then uh, four stalks of celery. Then we have our meat right here. We have our rutabaga, parsnips, turnips, shallots, granulated onions, some salt, some black pepper, and some bay leaves, and some garlic powder. And some elephant garlic. And this is elephant garlic, yeah. And if you guys, um, I'm not sure which I'm going to be posting first, this or my grocery haul, probably this video, but you guys will see a lot of the ingredients in my grocery haul that I've already filmed for you guys. So, but anyways, go ahead. Fun fact, what? Irish stew doesn't have rutabaga in it, but my grandma made it that way, so that's how we're making it. Okay. Well, we'll leave the recipe down there for you guys. So the first thing I want to do is take your stew meat and put it on my lip. Because I will record. Because he's going to be making it today. So, yeah. I just want to sear it. Really. Should have got it hotter. I'm talking to Miss Carter or are we just filming? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So, you just want to get a good sear on it. You don't really want to cook it all the way yet. You're going to do that. It keeps going in and out of focus because you keep moving your hand. <laughs> so, this is what it looks like, you guys. Okay, you guys. So, it's been seared in the bacon fat. And now, we're going to add the carrots, onions, and celery. And you guys, if you want a good hearty stew, this is it. I like on a super cold day, and you just want something super filling and super yummy, this, this is what you want to make. cook and this is what it's looking like right now. I am going to turn this down now. And the heat's just on medium. So that's what it's looking like. Now here is our elephant garlic that the beard's cutting. Oh, 
this is the shallot. Okay, you guys, so we just transferred the onions and garlic into the same bowl we had the celery and carrots and onions in. And now the beard is going to do the parsnip. Now we're doing the turnip, guys. Now, you guys, we're doing the rutabaga. So, rutabagas, I don't know if nobody's ever had one. They taste like a mix between a turnip and a cabbage. I know it's uh, weird. And they have a waxy outer they have, they're, layer. They wax them. They yeah. actually put wax on them. So. And see, it's got the... Same thing like the turnip. You can see it better on this where it's got the real fibrous layer outside. You can see it real good there. Okay guys, I'm um, sorry, our camera battery died, but in this bowl, oh god, we actually cut up some potatoes because I forgot to mention potatoes and beef broth are ingredients in this. This is our scrap bowl, we're going to feed it to the chickens so there won't be any waste. So this has the turnips, the rutabaga, and parsnip. the parsnip. And, and the potatoes. And potatoes. And in this one has um shallots shallots and, and onions garlic. elephant garlic yeah so our mixture's been cooking for a while so we're just going to add that in and we're going to add in two, cups of, two cups of beef broth and i just use the cubes um I would show you if I knew where they were. Not right. Top shelf. This is the beef broth cubes that I used. I used two cubes and two cups of water for this. So now we're going to let that come to a boil. We're going to add some more water. How much water? Huh? How much water? Oh, probably about eight to twelve cups. Okay, well, we're never that. So here's two. Oh, there. A bay leaf. Two. Adding a bay leaf. Two bay leaves. Four. Onion powder. Even though we got enough onions in there to choke a horse. Six. 
garlic powder. Eight. I'm gonna put more water in it. We're gonna do ten right now. Our pink Himalayan salt. The beard is. And black cracked pepper. Now we're just going to stir it around. Bring it to a boil. I wish smell vision was a thing. Oh, it does smell good. Then the beard is going to wash these, or I'm going to wash these. Not and just to get the stuff, but also helps get the starch out of it so it's not so starchy. Yeah. So then we're going to wash those and add them into our pot. Get the bag down. Give me a plate. Now that these are washed, we are going to add them to our stew and let it simmer until... For about an hour. Yeah, about an hour until everything is cooked together and everything is soft. So in goes our... And you, if you make this soup, you want a very large pot. You don't want a small pot. You want like a big stew pot. Stew pot. Soup pot, yeah. So now everything is covered. I'm going to put the lid on it. And we're just going to let everything come together. Cook it until it heats, until it goes to a rolling boil. Then turn it down to low and let it simmer for about an hour, hour and a half. And we used about six medium potatoes like eight eight potatoes but you guys we will be back to show you what it looks like in about an hour after everything comes together okay guys so our soup is done let me turn this off so they can hear okay ready ready, ready? you guys ready Ooh. oh i wish we could smell it <laughs> the beer wants y'all to smell it oh, i'm gonna have to turn it off but this is what it looks like. And on a side note, make sure that you take out the bay leaves. Oh yeah. Before you eat it. There's one. There's one. Maybe. Oh, I can't get it out. <laughs> Where'd it go? I oh, have an onion down. But you guys, I will leave the full recipe down below with measurements. And honestly, with the spices, it's just to taste. Oh, and you can, if you want it thicker, you can use arrowroot or cornstarch to thicken it up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, if you add too much water, because that's what we did. Why? We kind of put too much water, so we used a little bit of cornstarch just to thicken it up. But this is the finished soup. This is what it looks like in the bowl. You guys, it looks super yummy. And I'm going to give you back to the beard so I can do the, the outro, you know, to end this video. The outro. The, the outro. Guys, I'm sorry that my kitchen is a mess. Just for it the... happens when the beard cooks. Yeah, the beard is a um, very messy cook. But, like I said, I'm participating in soup Tober. soup timber. soup timber. soup timber, not soup Tober. <sighs> soup timber. It's been a long day. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. This is our version of Irish stew. It's not made with lamb. It's made with beef. So keep that in mind. And if the Irish ready. don't have rutabagas. Yeah, and not rutabagas. But this was the Beard's Grandma's recipe. So there is that. Um, tomorrow, today, this will be posted on the 5th. And then the 6th is going to be Cabbage Bowl Soup with a Good Life Farm. So please go check them out. And don't forget to comment on the videos. 
like I said, this will be the fifth, and then that was the sixth video. But we'll once again, down there. yeah, we'll have a, a whole full list of everybody that's participating and link to their channels. And also, you guys, if you follow me on Instagram, or if you want to follow me on Instagram, I have um, a picture of the list of my week for September. And also, I changed my Instagram name to Brit and the Beard. It was Beauty and the Beard and one, the original channel name, but we changed it up. So now it's Brit and the Beard on Instagram. So I just wanted to kind of let you guys know that. But I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up. And if you are my followers, please go check out the other the other YouTubers and their, their soups so that way... You know, they can gain following and comment and make new friends because it's always nice in this world to have nice people and have nice comments. Mm -hmm. So just a reminder, be kind to everybody because you never know what someone's going through. I just wanted to throw that out there. But I'm super excited for fall and I'm super excited to try these recipes. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> there's a fly and the beard's looking around like, what? It landed on the camera. But anyways, I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. Oh, that bowl is hot, 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 hot. But that's what it looks like. So yummy. And on one more side note, and then I'll leave you well, guys alone. Hurry, hurry up, because I want to eat. We kind of rushed this soup. So when you do it, you go ahead and tell them. You want to cook your meat and your mirepoix and your shallots and your broth an for together, about an hour together. Before you add your other stuff. And then you want to add your water and your root vegetables. Because if you overcook the root vegetables, they get mushy. mushy. Yeah, they get real mushy. But it really didn't take that long at all. And also, mirepoix, for you, for the non-fancy people, that's me. You know, I'm not fancy. Oh, I just yeah. use the, the, what, the whatever. It's carrots, onions, and celery. I'm the, not fancy. The holy trinity cook. of cooking. Yeah, the beard's over here using big words, and I'm <laughs> not. But anyways, I will see you guys in my next video. And thank you for subscribing. Thank you for supporting my channel. And thank you for watching all of the videos in September. I'll see you later. Bye.